It is the second day of the wave spell of the red, red dragon. I'm going to be smoking my pipe because it's late at night. And I feel like I need to be doing these at just about midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm that crazy. So pardon the sudden interruptions for those that continuously watch. So with this day, it was still a lot of transitioning into this new waveform of energy. And not just myself, but a few people that I do know that are really in tune. I also kind of gathered that there's a lot of mysterious things happening. And it's like everything kind of bad that's been happening is like a disturbance of something on a greater scale. <clears throat> I'm not sure why this wave spell is starting off so weird, for lack of a better word. And not too, too much insight was given today, and that was a little disappointing. But I did have a really profound experience, and I know there's going to be doubters, but I would not speak about it if it was not important. So... At the job I have, one of the guys that I work for, he's, he, it's very clear he has it out for me. So, um, work at a golf course and I'm mowing the greens early in the morning. And by the time I'm getting to my third hole, it's like 7.30 and that's really, really good. Usually I'm barely getting done with my second hole at that point. But... I'm starting off with a good start, and then this guy comes up to me and says, I'm not going fast enough, I'm taking my time, and yada, 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 yada. So, he feels like he needs to start literally, like, backpacking off of me. He's, like, driving with me everywhere, and then for some reason, he has me do a hole that I wasn't even supposed to do. And then still gets on my case about being too slow. It's like, ugh, whatever. But as we're at that hole... I'm standing on the side as he's pushing my mower, and just a lot of intense outrage is held within, and I, I do my dragon shout, I do a variation of ones that I've had for a few years now, and as soon as that last consonant leaves my mouth, bam, his phone falls out of his pocket, but it just, it was video game smooth, like, what the fuck, I have been told many times over. If I continue to do my dragon shouts, I will be able to do exactly what I've been told I can do. But tonight feels very mysterious. The moon is still really, really bright. And coyotes are going off like crazy. You might hear them. But here by Superstition Mountain has that name for a reason. Before the settlers came in and named it Superstition Mountain, someone had told me that the natives had in their own language what it basically translated to as Spooky Mountain. So just kind of weird how we came upon a similar conclusion in our language. But my cousin and a few other people have told me that they've seen straight up ghost riders out here. Not like the Headless Horsemen, but like ghost cowboys or something like that. And what I can say definitively is as a child, I have had horsemen come up straight to my window in the middle of the night. I've heard actual horse hooves pounding on the, the concrete. I heard someone get off a horse and walk up to my window. I was told it was a pretty, pretty bad thing. Honestly, I don't know too, too much about it, but I could definitely feel a lingering presence. And it's not just one, it's a couple. Like I Normally, I'd be all about that and go hunting for something. I'm kind of good and just settled down here, and honestly, I don't want to be out much longer. But as this third day for the wave spell of the Red Dragon, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. It's starting off a little rough, but as 
it's just about to hit midnight and become the third day for the wave spell. I kind of feel a lot of emotional baggage has been pulled out of me, literally pulled out of me. I, I was pretty distraught most of the day. I ended up sleeping quite a bit after I got out of work. So, speaking of which, I'll probably just cut it off here. I know I said I was going to touch upon something I wanted to last night. I feel like I can't even remember what it is. So, as these next totems go for the next few days, I'm just going to try to keep myself patient and calm. There are still thoughts offhand stray thoughts that are manifesting instantly and it's a little troubling because I know it's not directly me but I know that with the resetting of the Mayan calendar the fact that this is the beginning of all the wave spells there is something obviously really important that's supposed to happen not necessarily with in the time frame of these days but the shift into this new transition, the declaration of the coming of the dragon, into the beginning of time again. And there's too much alignment. I would love to openly share. I would love to openly share how much I really know about the dragons and their history. And I just instinctively know, not even by the guidance of my dragon, that it's not time. Because of everyone that I have revealed these and these secrets to, I end up getting stabbed in the back vigorously. And I don't need any more persecution than I've already gotten this last half year. There's so much that's been presented for the last decade. And it's so frustrating that I'm one of the few people that really has caught on to it. But as time goes, the fire only grows, only giving death to light, revealing what we've already known. We've always known. We've always known.